<laughs> check it out it's an oldie but a goodie old square body furred Ooh, a single cab too super rare nice okay so what we're doing here today is repairing some bushings on the front i-beam suspension uh, uh, apparently the inner bushings have worn out and the i-beams are flopping around uh, we will get a better explanation of what's going on once it's lifted in the air so let us get to it uh oh is it manual or automatic oh no just kidding that's the transfer case you guys knew that and then i go look for the clutch look what i did to myself i miss old cars check it out it's a megalodon tooth and that is not store-bought no 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 this was recovered from the wild that's powering down okay before we get started i need to bring this to everyone's attention who knows what this is right here some of you know some of you do not but if you know i need you to let us know in the comment section down below oh yeah listen to this metal we're not going to be under here much but it's it's worth a, a gander just to okay. witness the technology what's up buddy thank you sir i appreciate your efforts Oh yeah, race car trick. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is cool too. Check this out. Built-in work light. Uh-oh, I broke it. There, I unbroke it. Okay, we're down below. We can see that these front axles are these large beam devices here. And the mission of the day is to replace this bushing right here and this pushing right here that goes to the driver's side axle so what i'm going to try to do is just pull the bolts and uh pry bar these things down and wedge them downwards and then get a ball joint press on these bushings to uh to work them out and then i'll press the new ones into place probably easier said than done but i'm going to try it let's see what happens all right let's get this guy out and see how much space i can come up with to press these uh these bushings a bad start. Oh, do not lose. Do not lose the nuts. Now this isn't going to take more pry bar. This is going to take all the pry bar. Um, I'm over here thinking you're saying dive bar, so now I'm like, dive bar? What, what about a dive bar? Uh, no, no, sir, I'm not. <laughs> I stopped thinking about the bar when we reproduced. And not you and me, my wife and I. I think that was too much info for you guys. Delete. Alright, that's down some-ish. I think I can get a, a tool on there. Secondary pry bar. I want more space. Let's see. Let's go in here. There we go. There's some more space. And then again. All right. That's cool. So let's shove that in there, and that should uh, not do what I wanted. Okay. Uh, I need to lock this in in position somehow. There. Cool. All right. Now I'll be able to somehow press that guy out. Ball joint press time. I think I need to take uh, take this uh, steering linkage down. Hmm. Really, I just need to get the steering dampener off. Sure. I I'll just pull that off right here, and then. Uh, I'll have a line of sight to that bushing so I can press it out. Okay. Love the lube. Okay, let's see if this is going to work here. No. Ooh, I'm ball vibrating. Yeah. 
here, muscle mass. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna have to do the other side too. Let's go over there. I'll just have to take that all the way off. More lubricant. So I've heard Eric from South Main Auto say that uh, penetrating lube is a myth. Is, is he uh, mocking a troll or something? I know some of you guys watch, most of you guys watch his channel too. So if he's mocking a troll, let me know. Because I also like to mock the trolls. They make for good content. Okay, now we have line of sight on this booger over here. All right, so this is going to be kind of a problem, I think. Uh, do you see here how the end of this is flared out from the bolt wallowing around inside of there? Well, it's supposed to press out nicely. That's not going to happen because this edge is flared. So I am going to have to do this destructively. And by destructively, I'm going to use the assault hammer to just mangle this bushing until it comes out. Th uh, then I'll press it in. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of loud noises, but basically I'm just gonna assault impact this thing until this flare is flattened back out. Then I'll get behind it on the other side and then drive it forward. That, uh, that should accomplish my task at hand here. Loud noises. My axle's going back to where I don't want it. Yeah, let's reposition this one more See, time. what's happening is the pry bar is sliding off the axle, so I'm just gonna ratchet strap it over here to this set part of the axle, and that should keep it from going that direction. You know, I say should, but we all know nothing ever goes according to plan, which is why plans are always evolving into different plans. This one, I don't know, this might actually work. All right. Game on. You guys go back over here. We can see. There. Gravity, pry bar gravity. Uh huh. It's working. about 80% of that lip folded in. It's coming out.
gonna win. Come on, you get out of there. It's like almost all the way out. Why? Why are we stuck? Hitting it at the wrong angle, that's why. Ooh, part of it's out. <laughs> Victory. Check it out. Destruction. All right, now. We need some tools to press this in. And, all right, there's the old bushing. We need something to press against it and then something to press against the other side for relief. I choose this one and that might work. That might work. It's gotta fit perfectly on this flange and not press on the rubber part. I think this is, it's not part of the kit, but this will, no, it's not gonna work. Um, what do I got here? No. Maybe that other thing will work. That works, that's perfect. You know, I'm just gonna take it all over there. I'll probably have to change things up. There, okay. Just for fun. That's not gonna work. Nope. Okay, so space right here is really tiny, so I'm gonna have to use small, very shallow adapters. So this should, uh, this could be interesting. Let's see how this is gonna play out. It's either gonna work or it's not. See that? I moved through the matrix again and defeated gravity. Twice. Uh huh. Ah, click. Okay, so that's in line, that's centered-ish. Yeah, let's start uh, cranking down on this, this rod right here and begin the pressing procedure. This is a little off-center. Let's just uh, happy tap that up where I want it. And we're gonna send it. It's going.
it's going. It's almost there. I'm gonna send it till uh, this little flange here is flush. One more, one more series of duck -a ducks. There, that worked. Double gravity. Hey, Pita. Yeah. I need to do one more press on this. Can you come over here and, and spin my shaft? Giggity. Yeah. Just uh, right here. Just reach in from the front. Yeah. Just kind of tighten that. No, no, not with that. Just by hand. I'm not ready for power tools yet. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you, sir. You did a good job. There we go. Okay, let's recap this thing. It is fit flush and just protrude it all the way through on the back. You can't, oh, you can't see, hang on. There, now you can see. It's all the way through on the back side. Nice clean install, this is good. And we're flush in the front. So this side is complete. All right, let's take the strap off and we'll put this axle back. Come here, pry bar. Come out. our shaft back in. Ooh, this thing should be replaced. It's uh it's stuck in the compressed position. Oh. Uncompressed there. Uh-oh, I did that backwards. I'm silly. Love my job so much, i uh, do it twice. That's one down and one to go. I I hope not. This one may prove to be more difficult. But we'll see. There's a brake line in the way, kind of. 
No biggie. Reverse. No. Let's break the nut first. <sighs> Oh, that's tight. Holy smokes. I need to extend this wrench. There. You lose leverage. Okay. Come on down, bushing. This one, ah, it feels kind of. That's toy. Compound driver. Come on, you're gonna come out of there. I thought this was gonna be the easy side. I might have been wrong. Dang. Oh, what do I do? What's holding this up? I need to rethink this. Pause. All right, what's happening is the axle housing is actually contacting this drive axle right here. So I unbolted this one, the, the one we just bolted back in, and I'm gonna try to drop this one, this housing down, and that will lower this axle shaft, which should give me space for this housing to come down. Fingers crossed. Yes. Yes. It's gonna work. I hope. It's gonna be close. How close is it gonna be? How close do you think it's gonna be? Uh, you take a guess. Uh, closer than a midget's pubic. You can't say that. Very close. Just okay. Woo! Uh, come here. Get, I got a pry bar wedged down a pry bar. Almost enough. Better hurry. I'm running out of battery. Oh no! Actually, I think that's enough. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. So I think this is good. It's, it feels pretty secure-ish. Uh, same protocol, this has been flared out, so I have to unflare it violently.
I don't hear it. This one's uh, a little bit uh, more stubborn. Yeah, you lose. And it said, oh yeah? Screw you, right? That's great. That's that sucks. Got it. Now I do believe this is either gonna fit by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Or uh, I'm gonna have to pull this yoke out. That's pretty tight. No, you're gonna fit. I'm not pulling the axle out. Ha! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay, now I just need to get that ball joint press in there. Hmm. It's getting good now. Okay, so I don't, since I don't have enough space here for this ball joint press, I'm gonna make some with more pry bar. Yeah. There. Oh, well, this is gonna be awkward-ish. Check it out, I've gotta hold this with my knee. It's, yeah, it's cool, it's gonna stay. All right, I have created the space necessary but some miracle okay same uh, protocol as before Pete I need you on my shaft again right, come down this way and just tighten it down please Right there. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, all yeah. the way. All the way. All the way. Hey. Oh, Wait. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. no. Back it up. Back it up. We went too far. It's not in straight. Okay. Try it again. Beautimus. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sick bastards. Okay. Right, let's back up and uh, apply some duck a ducks. It's home. Nice. Woohoo! Yeah, I bet that guy lives in an apartment complex. Yep, we're flush. This is good. Press through. We're all good. Let's put this thing back together. We're done. <coughs> Dunnish. Kind of done-ish. Okay, let us unfry bar this fry bar. That's sketchy. So scary and dangerous. Did you say pimping ain't easy? Yep. Are you a pimp? Yep. Or are you something like a pimp? I'm something like a pimp. Pry hammer. Wrong. Oh, you missed it anyway. Hmm. More pry hammer. 
Wagner. I don't believe my angle is accurate or correct. Yes, this axle is kind of leaned this way some, so the bolt is wanting to point down. I need to figure out how to twist it to get that bolt to go up on that side. More pry bar. I'll get it. Let's see if this will work. Yep, works every time. 60% of the time. Things are broke. Ah. Awesome. And I gotta go back and do the other bolt one more time because we had to remove it for clearances. Not rolling back up. It went up easily last time. What is this? There. Get in there. Same thing, it's it's a little twisted. Let's untwist it. There. I know you guys didn't see that. But I'm not doing it again. Got her, did. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Coming down. Oh, my cart's in the way. Gravity. Gravity is my nemesis. Something is wrong here. <laughs> One fifty. Danger. All right, guys. That will conclude our repair operation for the day. Starting the Ford engine. Or not. Beautiful. Oh, you know what, you guys, I forgot to mention earlier, this is a 1986 uh, with a rolled over, probably says 62, 598, and 3 tenths on the clock. I imagine it's 100, 200, 300, maybe even 462, but we only go up to uh, five digits. Anyway, that being said, woo. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, I would only ask of you to communicate that to me effectively by tappy tapping the like button down below. And perhaps if you were so inclined to drop me a comment or two while you're down there. So again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Park, powering down. Pew. Sony. See you later, Ferd. If you did like this video, as always, I would only ask of you to cue. Bloopers.